400 miles east of New Zealand are the Chatham Islands, a stormy region that includes Pitt Island, just south of Maine Chatham. In these cold waters, Vaughn Hill dives for abalone, or power as it's called locally. In New Zealand, abalone divers are not permitted to use scuba tanks, so Vaughn searches for his quarry on only a lung full of air. I was an abalone diver. We have a quota that we've got to catch. You got a certain amount of time to catch it. There's two of us diving, and we had one boat boy who goes between us, picking up the power from us, and gives us a uh, empty net. Go back down, get some more. So it was just a normal day. I was between 15 and 20 foot of water. It was cold, murky, and I was getting towards the end of my breath, and I was getting ready to come up. But I felt a bit of a smack on my side, just like someone just gone and flicked you. I looked up and there was just not one fish around me. I didn't realise that I had been bitten. Vaughn's back and right arm are bitten clear to the bone by a 15-foot great white, a species that's active in cold water because they're warm-bodied. It enables them to move quickly for surprise attacks. They're so fast, the shocking suddenness of the hit is why Vaughn feels no pain and doesn't even know what happened. The next thing I remember was breaking the surface. I was just about starving for air. Oh, I needed more air. I yelled out to the boat boy and I knew I had to get out of the water. Vaughn tries to look for the shark. I put my head back in the water to see if I could see it. And it was just, I couldn't see nothing. It was just a ring of blood around me. I yelled again and uh, put my head in the water. And by well, this time, I was starting to get a bit, a bit freaked out. You know, I was in the water and I was sitting there too long. But getting him on board is a tough task. I lunged for the boat, but both my wrists collapsed, but nothing responded. And my power hook dropped out of my hand. and. You don't drop the tool of your trade, so I was trying to catch it, and uh, it wouldn't, nothing would work, mate. From there, the boat boy tried to lift me up, but he couldn't lift me. Oh, it's probably a dead weight. Eddie, help me! We got a shark attack. Vaughn's diving partner Eddie Rarity races over to help, knowing that he could also be attacked. Eddie bravely stays in the water to help his friend to safety. For quite some time, I felt my hand inside here. I used to better open and close it. But as time's gone on, it, that sensation's sort of gone. With such reminders of the accident on Pitt Island, Vaughn holds some very strong attitudes towards sharks. Where I'm from, 80% of the population rely on the ocean for their living, you know. We're here to survive, mate, and make our living. They are a pretty incredible animal. Um, they'd be the most skillful fishermen that I know. But I also think that they're an evil, mean, killing machine too.